I love and if 50 it. senators are ready to go to fulfill their oath, they should go for it. One more quick call here. Lionel okay. from Monroe, North Carolina, Democrats line. You're on. Hi, I definitely agree that people should get more involved in their local government. And that is something I encourage. And as an African-American in this country, when it comes to voting... Um, uh, your book that was published last fall, The Laboratories of Aut Autocracy, but you are also a fiction writer. You've got a piece of political fiction that's being a work of political fiction being published this month. Tell us about that. It is the straight up kind of description we just talked about. But I find that a lot of people learn as much or more through through stories in this out uh, the human brain works through stories in fiction writing as they do nonfiction, which is a little more straight at folks. So I've written a number of books that try and tell a good story with good characters, and generally they've been sort of positively viewed as page turners, that also bring to bear the realities of politics. So people think about them, they question them, etc. And my newest book is called A Simple Choice. And it's all about sort of this this broader plot. But I'll just I'll summarize it this way. My my past books were, were honestly some of them really got into gerrymandering, really got into election integrity. This book gets into a deeper question that tries to that, that tries to challenge every reader to think, what would you do if you were given an opportunity to save the life of a loved one who is deathly ill? You know, what what trade would you make? What what lines would you?